I know I say this quite a lot, but tonight is probably the best paranormal evidence I've ever captured. Tonight we spend the night on a poltergeist ship. This ship once set sail to the Antarctic, only came back with half its crew after being stuck for two years. Some say the captain is still here, and I believe we found him. If you're finished with that device, could you please walk out of your room so we know you're gone? Oh my no. god! You oh my god! Yes, sir. Can you tell me your name, please? Simon? Uh, Joel. Joel. Billy? Stand there, please, and I'll get a good photo for you. Take a photo. I've never experienced anything like this in my life. This is the most credible evidence I've ever seen. If I was even a slight bit of a skeptic, I am not anymore. Team Fighters, welcome back to the channel. And it's now October, so that only means one thing. We have gone full blown Halloween mode. All the Halloween merch is on the website. That's it, we're back. After eight months of no merch, we are back and we have some of the best merch ever available, including the Exploring with Josh and Exploring Fighters collaboration, the Nara Extinct hoodie, which is very, very limited. I've got to say, if you're going to grab something, grab that first because that is going to be gone. We've got the Catacombs t shirt, we've got Big Boy the Kraken, plus we've got a bunch of returning favourites, and not to mention the official 2022 t shirt every year. Fourth consecutive year, we've done uh, a Halloween official t shirt, so yeah, make sure you go and grab that. But I have some amazing news for you. October the 14th is a Friday. Set that in your calendars. Get over to this link down below right now. Screenfest is happening again. That's right. You remember Screenfest? This is what happened last time. Anyone the viewers or anyone who likes the Kraken, who's a fan of the Kraken, can get a photo of it. We're blowing it up now. Photo in it. We're gonna put it on the water, put a bunch of fans in, see how long they last. No way! <laughs> Is that your cup, so I'm good. Right, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. What you mean that? That's good. Now you can be a part of it, but I've got to say it is limited. Last time we sold a bit too many tickets and it was jam packed. This time we are limited the tickets. So definitely make sure you go over and grab them because when I announced it only a couple days ago, 40% of the tickets are already sold. And we'll have all kinds of stuff going on there. There'll be special competitions, there'll be events, and there'll also be a merch store where you can pick up such things like the Kraken, the bloody Kraken that I've custom made myself, and that's my handprint. I made all these by hand. So yeah, you'll be able to pick up all the stuff if you don't get it online, the stuff that isn't sold out though. I've got to stress that a lot of the stuff is limited and a lot of the stuff is only available 100 quantities. So yeah, grab them while you can. And this year I'm doing something completely different. If you go over and follow my merch Instagram, on Instagram, edwf underscore merch, I'm running some special competitions, but these are not like any other competition before. What I'm gonna do is when I'm filming in certain areas and certain locations, say for example, I'm doing the Haunted Forest series, say I'm in Witchwood Forest or I'm in, not, I'm in Sherwood Forest, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a package somewhere which is going to have merch in it and I'm going to give out some clues on the merch Instagram and you've got to follow those clues and retrieve the merch and then you've got to tag me on Instagram of course but yeah I'm going to be leaving merch around the UK on my travels sealed up weather proofed for you to find so that's going to be pretty fun. Anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video this is the haunted ghost ship. So what you see behind me right now is not an optical illusion. This is a ship that we are going to be boarding and being locked until 3 a.m. 
doing a ghost hunt. But this is not an ordinary ship. What is Josh, it then, Dan? This what is, is it? an ancient. No, oh, I won't say ancient. This is a very old ship, and this is a town where my family is from. What is it, Dun oh, Dundee? Dundee, yeah, Dundee and Perth. My my huh. my dad and my auntie and my grandparents are from. So this it's is kind of yeah, it's sentimental. Yeah, like and my dad said he's always seen this ship. And the ship is famous for ploughing through loads of ice, heading to the Antarctic, and it got stuck for two years. Bunch of history that I'm not going to tell you because I have a very nice Scottish lady who's going to tell you the history and is going to sound so much more interested than me telling it. But Dundee is known as a city of discovery, and this is why. We are going on to the RRS Discovery over here in Dundee. Now I've got some interesting facts uh, to tell you about this ship and why I'm super excited to be in Dundee. But as a step onto the deck, oh, most of this is completely original and there's a lot of history on this boat dating back to 1901 when it was originally put on the water and sent to the Antarctica in search uh, for research and um, I think it was about whales. Oh, you gotta watch them ankle knockers. But this boat is pristine and it is a museum. You are able to come here, you know, you can come here whenever you want. The deck is flooded. You're welcome to come and uh, yeah, explore this place just like we are right now. Um, Google, Google it and you'll come straight up. But yeah, it's an unbelievable ship. Most of it is completely intact. And as we step round here, you'll see these here. Now these are portals. Now you'll notice, when we do go to look at the outside a bit more, there is no portholes on the side. And it's sold to make the ship a lot stronger because it is going, plowing through the ice. So it needs to be strong and rigid. So they would have the portholes on top, like so, dotted round all over. And that was able to let light into the ship and also air into the ship as well. Right, we're heading inside the ship now. Oh, it is freezing out there. Oh, wow, look at this place, Stephen. Would you just look at this? Josh, what do you think? I think this place is crazy and it's amazing. I feel like if anything's gonna be on it, it's probably right here. I mean, look at the state of the place. It looks it's like it looks like we're about to sit down and plan a battle. We've yeah, we've never yeah. did a, a explore like this before. I don't ever. think we have. No, we never did. Have we? Have, oh no, we did kind of. Was it the which ones? Probably sells back to 2018. The summer it was one of the hottest was summers it the in decades. Was the French boats? No, it was a submarine. I remember there that. you go. Oh yeah, you. It right. does have a very right. similar kind of vibe. This is way better than the sub. Yeah, uh, well, the, no, the sub is cool. They had new. It was on yeah, it was <laughs> cool. Yeah, it had the uh, the hammer and sickle flag still in there and stuff. All those. Probably bad taste to us talking about it right now, considering everything that's going on in the world. But this place is absolutely amazing, and we can go inside every one of these rooms. There is activity apparently that happens in every one of these cabins. This is the uppers section. This is where the captain and the lieutenants and all the higher up people would stay. And uh, yeah, it would seem to be luxury here. And back there, where we're going to go very soon, is where the crew would sleep, and that's where. Apparently a lot of activity goes down. Alright. Thank you for coming and giving us a tour here. Because I know absolutely nothing about this place except what I see on the front page, which wasn't that much. So maybe you can give us like a tour, a brief part about this place, kind of tell us what they did here, and more about the RSS Discovery, and even just show us around after maybe downstairs. I know there's a downstairs part we can go to. Yes. Right, okay, okay. Discovery. Mark him. Wanted this boat built especially to go to the Antarctic for expeditions, to seek out the whales, to find out how many there were, and to make sure there was enough so that we could still continue to kill them. Um, before that was done, this, this ship was built here in Dundee, just 500 yards down road by the shipbuilders. Um, then it went on a wee cruise around the world and went to Trinidad and uh, ended up at New Zealand. Uh, King and Queen were on it, they blessed it and wished it the best for the expedition. 
at New Zealand, they had a bit of a party there. Um, before they left, one of the guys, Charles Bonner, decided that he was going to go up to the middle mast and say farewell, but he stood on top of the crow's nest and fell to his death. He smashed his head on the deck. He was gone. So Markham was, he was the one who handpicked all the yeah. The crew. Yeah. So that he handpicked 47, was it? 49. 49. So there was 49 crew members and then how many uppers? Oh, I don't know. So like there was a total of what, 55, 56 people? No, there was a total of 49. Oh, right, right, okay. So he handpicked yeah. maybe 40. Yeah, oh. No, because you might have about seven, I think, uppers. Uppers. Yeah, lieutenants, captain, uh, <laughs> captain's mate. Mm. I was curious just because you, you said that... So then you have your chefs and things as well. Yeah, exactly. I mean, when, when they was in Antarctica, they went and did their expeditions, mm -hmm. but they went terribly wrong. Yeah. yeah. And... A lot of them died. A lot of them died, but we don't know, we don't know no how numbers. they were. Mm -hmm. and, and so that's like the whole reason why they think the ship is now haunted, yeah. because of the, the bad, like, events that took place from here to the Arctic. Yeah. So then, it sh what's his name? Um, Mal Malcolm died, but it wasn't on the ship. He died the day after he. He was reading a book in his bed, and then the candle lit his bed on fire, and because it was made of like, oxygen and stuff, it just it just went. And out. damn, that happened in on the boat. Yeah, well, he, in his room. Right, right, right. So he died right. in that room. No, no, no. no. So he burned. He burned, he burned alive. Oh, and he died. He died by the boat. Apparently, there's been a lot of um, sightings and things. Yeah. Like that he is on this boat that he's came back because he's the captain. Yeah, you're right, captain. Always yeah. Captains will go down with the ship. Yeah, yeah, always. Okay. Yeah. And huh. the do dogs died. 22 sledge dogs huh. died. 22. That were on the expedition. Yeah. So did, so did they die? There's dogs that run around to get hear them barking. Oh, oh. oh. Did they die from diseases or is it from various different I think it's from frost. 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 Oh, oh, shit. So, I mean, it's probably safe to assume that, like, a lot of the crew died of, you know, frostbite and... Oh, well, they had to be blasted out the ice. The boat had to be blasted Oh, it was stuck. Yeah, we're yeah, missing yeah, the, the crucial... Dynamite, dynamite, dynamite is actually how they got out. We're so missing that's... the crucial part of the story. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> we're, so we're, we're getting to the main story here, okay? We're getting there. Okay, so <laughs> they went on their expedition mm -hmm. and... To, to the North Pole. Yeah, and that was just for Antarctic research and... So they got stuck. Stuck. And yeah. then they, had, they got stuck there for two years, so they were only meant to get two years. Two years? Two years, years. Bro. Bro. Imagine, imagine you go on an adventure for two, one year, you know you're going to come back, and you get stuck out there for two years, freezing your ass off. How, how, and how did they survive for two years? Most didn't, right? Well, it's actually, well, I heard most didn't. Okay. It wasn't a thing. They actually don't even know how many no, people don't. made it back. Wow. Not all of them. It's just stated that not all of them made it back. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah, and a lot of them, see, I don't know, I watched a Netflix movie, but a lot of them died from, like, some of the food, because it was mercury in the food, because of the cans from the food. And then a lot of them died from frostbite, a lot of them died because they had no food, and some apparently were, in ca like, cannibalism. <laughs> but this I is in the Netflix show. I don't know. I think the mercury part is, is right, though. I think the mercury part's right. I don't know. There's, there's one crazy thing, though. Yeah. There's, a, there's a table in the back there. And a lot of the arts and research that took place, they got frostbite, and they would immediately have to cut off the limbs. So they drag them back to the boat, put them on the table in the back, and cut their arms and legs off and stuff. They used to be surgery on the table. And they still oh. learn now. What? How does, yeah. how does he know that? Because I told him that. Ah, oh, <laughs> yeah, see? I, I listened. His dad was there. Oh, right. He's stealing my thunder. Come yeah, on. I, I was going to look really smart then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Alright, that's all, that's that's interesting. Is there anything we should know, like, for haunted, like, that you didn't tell us yet? Apparently there's a lot of poltergeist... Um, there's a lot of poltergeist activity, so things do move about. Um, there's, there's apparently a woman spoke to a man for the whole time she was here, and she didn't realise that nobody else could see him. Holy Whoa. shit. Yeah. What? Really <laughs> what? Yeah. Who was this guy? Maybe it was somebody from the ship, but... Did not like, like, describe what he looked like. crazy with the history. She thought it was like somebody that was like, on the boat. So it was a guest. Yeah, a guest, right. but it wasn't. Mm. Wow. Nobody knows who this man was. Okay. They'd never seen him apart from this one woman. Wow. 
There's a lot of history on this this shit. I mean, it's over 100 years old. Yeah. And not just that, I think two years of residual energy embedded in the wood from the time they were stuck here. Exactly. So it could be full of energy, it could be active. I think it's going to be. Is there... Is there anything else you should know? When we've been on the boat doing our ghost hunts, we've witnessed sounds, noises, things moving. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Is, is there anything else we should know about this before we do like a like, kind of like roam around for kind of thing? Mm-hmm. Pretty soft thing for now. Yeah. yeah, I think it's pretty soft. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh-huh. All right. I think we should just adventure then. Find so. it out for ourselves. I think so. Just see what uh. Old school exploring style. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm yeah. down. See what comes out. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah, I kind of miss the old school explorer style. Could do that. Yeah. yeah. Good. That was perfect. Because we're gonna, we'll, we'll cut it right. So it's gonna keep yeah. continuing. Okay. It should be fine. I don't think there's yeah. anything else. No. I mean, I mean, because it's pretty. We'll know what's on the ship. Yeah, exactly. Like, right. I mean, because there's signs yeah. too. Yeah. 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 That'd be okay. You do okay. You do. Okay. So now we are leaving. Right there was the place where we just met up and talked about the history, the headquarters, and now we're leaving that to lab ass. Not sure what that is. <laughs> Can you tell us what lab ass is? I mean, I could, but I don't think it would be monetized. Yeah. Oh, ass, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know lab ass. It's like an experimental thing that I people do. I love lab ass. Yeah. We'll check it out, lab ass. How do you not know what lab ass is? I know, actually don't know. Is it? What is it actually then? Do you know what it is? I don't know. Do you know? I know what it is. Go on. What is it then? Well, guys, leave it in the comments for them to find See? out. See? Ah, that guy. <laughs> uh, leave that it in guy. the comments, though, for real. Actually, I want to know. This table is the one they would perform, um, not autopsies. The amputations? Amputations, uh, that's the one. Sorry, that's why Seth's here. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, autopsies. No, that's where they did the amputations, so they would drag the bodies on here, Damn. half alive, and cut off their limbs. Right here that we're on, yeah, on this, ta- this, so this is table. probably a hot spot. Yeah, think yeah. about that. This table, right? I mean, we don't know if they died. Yeah. But just the residual 100%. energy. Hundred percent not, dude. Some of them definitely died here. Oh, yeah, I mean, and it's just not recorded. In, in over a hundred years of history, only one recorded death on this boat. Yeah. So bound to be more. Well, no. They, well, they right. did. No, they no. They said they said that they, they their crew half their crew was kind of gone. They didn't say yeah. what. They just said half their crew did not come back. So right. I know they definitely died here for sure. Right. Like they, they just, just not recorded. They, they had to have had more than just one death oh. on the boat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's exactly my a, point. A dangerous expedition like that. Getting stuck for two yeah. years. Yeah. Like it's, it's like a story that you, you like a conspiracy story. Yeah. You know, half of them came, didn't come back because of frostbite and stuff. They probably killed each other. Two I years. think they ate each other, bro. I'm not even joking. I mean, I'm not even trying to switch. They would Australia. never have probably had two years worth of food. Well, think of no, it's three years they were away for. They were stuck for two years. Mm-hmm. It took them about six months to get there. Six months to get back. Two years stuck. Yeah. So three years worth of food. I don't know. They didn't have that much. I don't know. They, these are questions that we gotta ask. The ghost. Yeah. 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 That's smart. <laughs> Have you ever had a, a beef Wellington? I have had a beef Wellington, yeah. That's good. It was pretty good. It's better than the one you had. Alright. I mean, I saw the half ass one you had. <laughs> jo- I, sent jo- a, I sent him a picture and I was like, I'm in London a bit early and it shows me eating a beef Wellington in like this old bar, but I was actually I was actually in Newport, Rhode Island when I was eating it. If you guys know what that is. So. And I was like, bro, that is not a Yorkshire pudding from the UK, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> that was flat as hell, trust no. me. It was a flat piece of pudding. It was uh, not Yorkshire pudding. It was good though. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try Yorkshire pudding then when we go to York then. I can't. Well, yeah, we get Yorkshire puddings everywhere, but he's never had a Yorkshire pudding. I'll get one in York though. Oh my, oh bro, now. bro. Oh, you guys already know where I'm taking him. I'm taking him to get one of them Yorkshire pudding wraps. It's a Sunday dinner wrapped in a we Yorkshire have, we pudding. We haven't had Sunday dinner yet. I know. So we have to have that. That's a vlog in itself. Your first, yeah, that's your first. My, that's my. That, we have to vlog Sunday. Sunday dinner, whatever it's called. It's first Sunday dinner. My oh, mum. My mum even said she'll make it when we get back. Yeah, we're actually back on Sunday. Right. Well, we are. Ask her, bring your mum up and tell her to make us it. Hold on right a second. Now. Hold on a second. <laughs> With nothing to do, so we're gonna try. Hello, to mum. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, we're back on Sunday. You know what Sunday is, right? Well, you're back on Sunday. What? Yeah, we're back on Sunday. This Sunday. 
And, right. and what happens on Sunday? I don't know. We have Sunday dinner. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Hold on, let me check my diary. Yeah. <sighs> you offered on yeah, the you, live stream. You said that you would make us Sunday dinner. Yeah, I know, but I didn't say when. Oh, you, but it's Sunday. Oh, it's Sunday night. I know, but this when, is... When's the next time? That's, that's the only time. That's the only time. What about the... Oh, what about the week after for Dad's birthday? Are they not here then? You're not the other one. We're down south. We're yeah, down south. Down south, filming more. We're at Jack the Ripper. Actually, we really we're are. Jack the Ripper. Yeah, on the In 13th. London. Who knows if we're going to fly out of London or not? Who knows if we're even going to make it out of there alive? Exactly. So we need something to do. Well, Yes, please. Take two. Well, what happens if the war breaks out? Are you all going on that? Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna actually gonna sign up and go over as press. Oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. Mom, we're filming we're filming yeah. you actually right now. So. What? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm at work. <laughs> well, it's not like I'm turning up at your work, is it? Well, well, no. That's so, true. can you make us um, something dinner? Well, it'll have to be early-ish because I'm working Sunday night. Right, okay, that's good. Thanks. Right, she said yeah. Oh, yeah. My first Sunday dinner, yo, our first Sunday dinner, Woo! your 100,000th Sunday dinner. Something like that. Yeah, so all the viewers are probably laughing, joking, or, or having fun, so this has to make it into the video, but a very fast part of it. Bah, 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 bah. All right, we're having Sunday dinner. It's our first one. It might be a vlog. It might not. Either way, we're still having Sunday dinner. Let's keep going. Thanks, Mom. You think this is coffee? Uh, hot water. Oh. Uh, yeah, that would have been hot water. It, I'm, it, I'm it sure even says so. London on it, too. That's cool. What is sick bay? Oh, that's the oh, you can see inside. Oh, sh oh, should we turn oh, it off? Oh no, on. Oh, let's put it there. Like yeah. This was like the medicine area, right? Yeah. And it's near the food. Ain't that a little like unsanitary? I don't know. It's a bit weird. I mean, that guy looks like he's dying. Oh, I didn't see him, bro. And that guy's he's getting injected. Yeah. Josh, you just make a really good point. Why would Sipfe be next to the kitchen? Because there's just no room at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's yeah. probably just why. Damn. No room at all. Whoa, there's a rat, a black plague rat. Ah! In the kitchen, bro. It's not no ratatouille rat, that's for sure. So <laughs> that's definitely not for sure. <laughs> ratatouille? Yeah. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. They would have froze to death though, honestly, I think. A lot of them would like, a lot of them would have cats on board, that's just to catch the rats and mice, yeah. Oh, true. That, oh, we had, oh. remember 22 dogs died on the ship too. Oh, yeah. Rest in peace to the dogs. Save the dogs. Okay. It looks like Lancashire like hot pot. This is salt boxes. Throughout the ship there are letter box, le there are letter box type slots to cut in the sides which give access to the space between the inner and outer holes. Hey, anyway, we're gonna cut that out. Yeah, that shit's boring. <laughs> yeah. That is quite interesting. They put the salt there to, to dry it out. What? what I'm happened? guessing that's what they do. They put the salt here? Yeah, it absor so they put the salt in, in there and it would absorb it and stop it from getting damp and, and rotting. Huh. Huh. Check down here. Huh. huh. <laughs> Check down here. What is this? Oh. The foremast? Yeah. This is the best bit, the best area. If you guessed over two years, you come in straight here and you're gonna drink yourself silly. Is this all the food? Well, there's sugar and flour, but this is where they'd have the booze as well. Oh yeah, look at that. You even got tomatoes in the crate. Well, what's down there? Don't. We should have Steve go down there for the video. You think he'll go down there? Yeah, why not? You think he can fit? You, th you think if we all convince Steve to go down there, he'll go down? No, yeah. That'd be kind of funny. I don't know, actually. We'll ask him after this. I feel like he'll be like, no, guys. I, yeah, gonna... I think after like seven years, he just doesn't trust us anymore. I know. He shouldn't. He shouldn't. <laughs> well, we'll ask him after. We'll be like, yo, go down there and do a challenge. And he has to sit down there for a little while. Sorry, Steve. That's way. That's dope. I would have never known that. For the water tanks. Oh, humans smell beings like that. cannot. Human beings cannot drink salt and water. Tanks. Uh, it smells amazing. It really does smell uh, good. That's the smell. What is that? Of oil and tar. It smells really good. Uh, they should make a, a Yankee candle. Oh my! Like don't even start. I will put in a petition to have yeah. that done. Let's make them. Let's make the Yankee candle need to step up. I don't know. Explore tour slash beyond the door. We rented this entire ship out for the night. What the hell is he doing? 
Oh, Getting coal out of the coal shoots. Whoa, dude, this shit's bigger than we thought. It goes Yo, up the hell? We missed this whole bit. This is the engine, the re the actual engine. 450 horsepower. Wow, it's crazy that there's actually cars that are, f are like more horsepower than this ship now. Yeah, but this is still really cool to see. Dude, I like this. The tech's on yeah, but what's crazy is this is steam powered as well. Yeah. So 450 horsepower from a steam engine. Yeah, that's the impressive part. I don't know, dude. I feel like we're gonna get some some stuff up here. Yeah, it feels a bit diff more different here. Yeah, don't forget. All of a sudden, now I'm feeling like yeah. this could be a hot spot. Like this, I'm actually feeling something. This is where the most danger would happen. I mean, you've got you've got guys in the coal shoots loading the engine right. you know, machinery. This is the kind of place where accidents will happen. Yeah, for sure. Well, it's weird because just down there, nothing. I come up here, all of a sudden now I feel like okay, something dark could be up here. Mm. Just my opinion. And it goes up another level. Oh, we could go check that. Let's check that. Oh, back where we yeah, were. Just back up. Close oh, outside. Yeah. Oh, should we go back through there? Oh, outside. Oh, yeah. Should we go? Out yeah. There? Why not? Sure. Is it still raining? Oh, yeah, actually, let's check that. There's still weed. No. No. Oh, no, it's not. And and you it's, can get the wind has died down. That's good. That is good. I still can't believe that guy fell from that right there. Yeah. So yeah. he literally would have landed somewhere around here. Yeah. I mean, we could do a bit here when we leave. Yeah. But the wind is really bad. Oh, just Went like that. Black, yellow. And dude, this is mine. Oh, 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 oh. Dude. Already? Already that's mine. That's yours? That's mine, so... That's legit. That never goes off. Never. Just so you all know, you've been watching me. That never goes to red. Oh, oh my god. It's going crazy. Dude, now it's going. Whoa. It's so constant. Yup. And the crazy thing is he's just turned all the power off as well. Yeah. yeah. All the power's oh, just yeah, been turned exactly. off. Exactly, guys. Sorry guys, um, so I was guys, actually packing all my stuff. The and then I started going, going off. Uh, I'm getting it all out now. First off here. Right, yeah, okay, we're setting up the gear right, right now. now. I've got a bunch of stuff out. I'm going to show you in a minute. A new piece of equipment that we haven't used yet, so but I will I'm say, as the other guys have right, done on those, we cannot you turn know, all the lights off. So there is still a lights on in there for now, um, but we have completely turned everything off in here. This is where we're going to be kicking off the investigation, right here. But I will say the captain's room is off bounds until the end of the video because apparently when you start doing stuff in that room, holy hell kicks off. So we want to leave that to the last because I don't want to spend the whole time walking around a ship full of poltergeists. Yeah, Steve, smart move. Smart move, smart move, Josh. You already know. Yeah, we, do, we said it. Right, okay, some of the equipment that I do have out. The Polaroid camera, music box, REM pod, uh, K2 meter, cat ball, EVP recorder, spirit box, another REM pod, full spectrum camera, and the new piece of equipment which you might have already seen elsewhere. But this is the best music box on the planet that you can buy. It has ultrasonic sensors on the front of it that will detect any kind of movement, whether it be spiritual or just normal humans. So, boys, I'm ready. Let's get it. Are you ready? Let's get it. Let's do Let's it. Get it. Oh, yeah, Steve, a little quick one before the show. <laughs> Steve, we're trying to film you. <laughs> <laughs> Steve. Look at this thing. Look how beautiful that is. Steve, come on. Yo, I need the energy for this. Ghost only takes a lot of energy, you know? <laughs> the new music box on here, along with two REM pods. Over there. We've got a cat ball in there, REM pod there. We have stuff all over the place if there was something inside here. We have a REM pod right now. Oh, 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 music box. And this went off. Yeah, okay. Alright. Oh, and again. Whoa. Is that detecting me? No. I can't even see it. Probably can. It's definitely not. I don't know. Look, it's something about. Look. It's not the comedy. Yeah, I'm not sure either. No. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm Josh from the United States of America. I'm with my three friends who are going to also introduce themselves. We're here to talk to you about a few questions about what happened during the Arctic. 
Expedition. Hi, my name is Seth. I'm also from the United States of America. I think it was very brave what all of you did during your expedition to the Arctic. I know you probably knew how dangerous it was when you stepped foot on this ship, and I'm sorry that you suffered for two years trapped in the ice. But we're here to communicate with you. We don't mean you any harm. Whoa, that's mine in the captain's room. That's mine in the captain's room. No, but it was a that's the clock. But the fruit says it's different. What was that? These kids. One of them in the chairs. We're on an old ship, so we have to keep that in mind too. What was that? Was that a growl? That in mind too. What was that? Was that a growl? I don't know what that was. There's so much noise. Dude, there's sounds going on everywhere. <gasps> Yo, there's someone bro, there. there. What's that thing that goes off? There's there someone walking yeah. in there. Yeah. Hundred percent. Bro, there's someone walking in I think it's the captain. There. What's his name? Malcolm, right? Hello, my name is Steve. We're here on a road trip. We learned all about you guys earlier. We know how tragic it is and what happened. If you want, we would like to learn from you guys because we admire your bravery. It's so tragic of what you guys went through being stuck in Antarctic. If you would like to communicate with us, feel free to do it. We would love to hear about your experiences. <gasps> Bro, as soon as you said that. There's someone in the captain's room. Is that you, Mark? Someone in the captain's room. And hopefully, help you if you need it. Talk to you about the expeditions you've been on. It must have been amazing to see some of the stuff you've seen, but also, must have been super tragic. So feel free to walk out of the captain's room, or your room, and come and join us. If you can walk out now and set that device off, so we know that you're coming out. He's literally walking out. No, it's not, the daft device didn't go off though. It's Maybe like, he was like already he's out. No, it's not. Well, he could be actually. He could just be walking around us right now. That's true. It is so cold right here. It got really cold. It's Dude, really I'm feeling the breeze. I'm feeling, I'm literally feeling breezes. Yeah. Is Captain Scott here? Is Shackleton here? Is Markov here? What happened during the Arctic? How many of your men died during the expedition? Is that you letting us know that you're here? If it is, you can talk to us here now. <gasps> that is creepy. I swear to God, there's someone walking around in there. I just saw a shadow. Bro, Are you bro, put the light on it. Well, that is the no, most put, No, put the light on it. Well, that is the most There's something room. inside there, I'm telling you now. Oh my God. You what? Saw yeah, I saw a shadow plane as there. I believe you, bro. They said they did even poltergeist stuff if we go in the, the captain's room. But that's for last. That's the first time I've seen something like that. I mean, it's, oh my God. God. it's going it's off. Dude. It's literally sensing something walking inside there. But it's making my eyes water. Should, it, should we just listen? Sixteen? I don't know sure. Yeah, it kind of sounds like sixteen. I feel like we should ask on urine. I'm assuming there could be some yeah. ghosts. Because it obviously it's like real life, so I have to sit in front of it to talk. Yeah. So if you ask on your end, right. if there is a ghost or spirit. I've got a this. better idea. What? Seriously, there's something in that room. Why don't you just go and put it in the room now? Press record. And Owens, and come, come back here. And we'll shout the questions. How about we do it? Oh, you drop it in though. Alright, I'll do it. <laughs> Footsteps. There's footsteps so all over this place. Excuse me, Captain. Is it okay if I come into your quarters and drop off this device so we can speak to you? If it is, can you set off one of the devices in this room? Oh, <laughs> Oh my god. Bro, I'm so jumpy right now. Oh my god. That's that, legit. It actually worked. Bro, you have to look it out the right way. Still not going off. There you go. It's right inside the room. I told you. Bro, there's someone inside that room. That's not Wait. even us anymore. Oh wow. Uh oh. Yo, he's, he's probably standing next to the voice recorder now and it's like maybe picking him up. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah, it is. Wow. I think you're dead ass right. Are you mad that we're down here? If so, tell us. Do you like Shackleton? Captain. How many of your men died during the expedition? <gasps> oh, 
Is that you knocking over there? Or is that one of the crew crewmen? What was that voice? What was the voice out loud? Captain, do we have permission to explore your ship? Is there anything you'd like to t tell us? If there is, now's your chance. Now, if you finished over there speaking into the device, <gasps> something touched, something is in like that the room. kitchen or something or. Is in that room, guys. If you finish with that device, could you please walk out of your room so we know you're gone? <gasps> oh my no! god! You oh my god! Oh my god. That's f oh crazy. my god! <laughs> you can't <laughs> that up. <laughs> you can't make no, that no. up. Oh. I want to get the bush. That's exciting. All right, all right, go ahead. Oh my god. Thank you, Captain. I just want to come with you to get okay, it. Okay, cool. We have to get it. I just have it. Okay, let's bring it back to base. All right, move, Captain move, Scott, move. thank you. And the fact that we're getting intelligent communication right. with that device Very is incredible. Yeah. Look, there he is again. It's like, it's like you asked, are you done speaking with us? He walked out to let us go in and then right. went back into his room. Oh, yeah. you're right. That makes yeah. total sense. This is say thank you. Um, thank you for letting us know about that as well. Really appreciate it. Uh, we're just going to listen to what you said now. So how thank do you, you, how do you play it? Right, I got you. Ready? Are you mad that we're down here? If so, tell us. Just keep talking over there. We're not one of the crew. It is the yes, crew. Sir. It is the crew. Hang on. It is the crew. It is the it crew. Is crew. You can't Clear make, as day. You can't Clear make as day, that guys. up. Yes. Yes. This is solid evidence. I saw him in there, so that's why I was like, I, I just know he's going to walk out. Yeah, you said you saw it, and it, all of that happened after. Uh huh. Wow, guys. This stuff is no joke, guys. That was right? awesome. Yeah. It's not gone off since. Exactly. Yeah. We're wow. not asking it to. With your permission, would you allow me to take a photo like like this one here? If you would like me to take your photo, could you make that music box go off again? I don't want to be rude and just walk in and take a photo, but if you don't want your photo taken, could you please set the music box off so I know to put it away? Maybe he's not even here right now. Could have just left. Yeah, I don't know. Whoa, oh, that, was that was a door shut. That was a door shut. Shutting. Unless that's the captain leaving here. To right when we there. said that he might not even be here. He I could know. be gone already. Down there, or could be a crew member. This whole ship could be freaking haunted at this well, point. Is there anyone here at all? Could I, if there's anyone here, not just the captain, a crew person, could you set one of the devices off so we know there's someone here? I see that go off from here. Oh, oh Maybe he's just like, I've answered the questions. I've answered the questions. Okay, I'm going for a bit now. Yeah, and taking a little break. I mean, that was solid. Mm -hmm. That was so I've solid. I've never seen anything. And then the door just shut somewhere down there. Well, here's a good thing. We know he might have. He, he, he allowed us permission to explore the ship. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't point. being a dick to us. What? No, 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 he was a nice. He actually yeah. sounds really yeah. polite. Yeah. He straight up wants to communicate. Yeah, yeah. He really does. And wants us to explore and figure out what happened here. I just can't believe that, bro. Dude. That was the best evidence so far on this trip, I think. No, no, 100%. No. Right. I'm telling you now, I saw his shadow. And then I knew for a fact when I was going to ask, he was going to come out. I just knew it. Yeah, dude, like when you uh, said you seen the shadow. And it, and it walked out, the, the music box even went off. Like, you can't even make that up. I am always amazed when I ask direct questions, like, do I have permission to go in your room? Yeah. If so, give me a sign. And it literally did. Like, stuff like that is just so unbelievable. Yeah, it's like when you get that, you know ghost. Like, this is why we ghost hunt. Yeah, for like, things like that. This is the proof that there right. is an afterlife. Yeah, but bro, think about it. There was, it wasn't going off. <gasps> oh. He, he maybe came back? Oh my god. He maybe went back in his room? We're just yeah. sitting here talking. Yeah, about him. I was saying it wasn't going off. And then I'm like, asking questions. And I'm like, if you're done, please walk out of the room. Boom, it goes off. Yeah. How do you explain I know. that? That's true. How? And then you seen the shadow. No, I saw the shadow before. Oh. That's why I knew to ask. I know, I want to get his Polaroid picture so bad. I know, but... Well, I'm he's not, back in his room. I'm not doing it without permission. Now. I'm not doing it without permission. Yeah, no, that's true, just in case he... He's been super respectful to exactly. us, so we have to reciprocate that energy. Holy no, crap, that was a cold breeze. Bro, cold breeze for sure. Oh I felt God. that cold breeze, bro. 
maybe it's a lie. they're coming back in, or maybe I don't know. Uh, if there is anyone who's walked back in in here, could you let us know by setting one of the devices off, like the music box? Captain, please can I come and take a photo of inside your room? <gasps> oh my god! Was that like yes? You think? I think yeah. I was confirming. Yeah, you can. Okay, I'm gonna come now. Yo. We got your back, bro. Stand yeah, there, please, and I'll get a good I think we have photo for you. To take a photo. Oh my god. I've never experienced anything like this in my life. This is the most credible evidence I've ever seen. If I was even a slight bit of a skeptic, I am not anymore. Oh good. good. Oh. oh my god. Do you guys want your tea? We can serve you your tea pudding. Because right over there is where their food would be. It's lunchtime guys, everyone come in here and line up. Maybe we probably noticed that there's no food on the table. Dude, I keep getting a cold breeze. Yeah, yeah, me too. Oh man. Man, that would be cool. If there's anyone here, would you come down and sit with us? Maybe he's, maybe he's just like, I've answered the questions. I've answered the questions, okay, I'm going for a bit now. Yeah, and taking a little break. I mean, that was solid. Mm -hmm. That was so I've solid. Never seen and then the door just shut somewhere down there. Well, here's the good thing. We know he might have... He, he, he allowed us permission to explore the ship. Yeah, he wasn't being a dick to us. What? No, 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 he was a nice, he's nice, really yeah. Polite. He yeah. straight up wants to communicate. Yeah, yeah. He really he And wants us to explore and figure out what happened here. Yeah, could be. Should we ask, should we do one more EVP? Or just, should we, yeah, we, we can try one more EVP, just see if he's still here or not. Yeah. Uh, Maybe we not. can ask him, ask it just right here. Put it at the end of this table. I mean, one thing's for sure though. I am kind of nervous about going in there at the end of the video. Yeah, I know, after what we just did. Well, I mean, we, I physically we, saw his shadow. Well, he seems I mean, like a friendly guy. I know, but no. it's just the idea of it. It's well, we technically all, we did, some of us did go in, but not all of us and sit in this bed. We, yeah, we don't yeah. really know if he'll take kindly to us I'd like, be... lounging in his room, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We'll, we'll find out at the end. Mission. So far, we know 100% he's there yes. in this ship. He's still oh, roaming yeah. his own ship. Oh, yeah. That is facts. Yeah, we should definitely ask permission but once we leave this one room to go to yeah. the next one. We'll tell him we'll, we'll come back. Right. Yeah. It's crazy because be before when the EMF meters went off, they're not going off red before. So we know right. that that's been legit too. We can't debunk that as well yeah. because and, it's not popping now. And two more very solid points. Why isn't the music box going off anymore? That's number one. And number two, why isn't any other device going off? I know. It's true. It's been really good I so mean, far. I mean, even I feel like the presence is gone. Maybe. Right yeah. yeah, I feel like I feel like whoever was there left now. Yeah. It, it's, well, remember the door shut. They could have dipped out of here and went down there for real. But right. he, we, to the we, were, we were hearing the tapping, right? Yeah. He said it was the crew. So why don't we go and check out the crew bunks yeah. and try oh, to talk to yeah. them? I heard another when you said yes, that. I heard another thump over there now. Another thump when you said that, bro. See? Yeah. You don't. Yeah. All right. There's someone down there. Now there's noises where the crew bunk beds were. I think we should check it out. I'm okay. down. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take all the equipment. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Man, this room was so good. I almost want more stuff here, though. Well, we're coming Should we back. do one more thing here, or should we wait till the end? Well, we're, we're coming back in here. At the end, we're coming back here, so we can announce it around the whole ship yeah. that we're going to be going in I the was captain's asking, yeah. room. Let's ask one thing. We're going to leave this room. Is there anything you want to tell us or give us a sign about? You can tell us right now by triggering a, a device. If not, we're going to the crew member side. Nothing. Well, nothing's going off. I think. Yeah, maybe we should go. We should. Yeah, we go should to move to the crew side. I I just want to say this real quick. Oh, Wait, that, oh, that went off a minute. I just want to say really quick. We're in Scotland on a freaking hundred-year-old ship that got stuck for two years in the Arctic. I just want to bring that up to you guys again because it's freaking amazing. Yeah. And the captain is still here. The captain's still here. Trying to make 
Stephen Cleaver. <laughs> I mean, that looks like a door slam like twice in my whole life. So. Yeah. Well, the vector still continues anyway, so. Bull, it was intense. Dan's still flipping out. Oh, them four holes are getting. Yeah. Yeah. Pass here. Come on. Yeah, because, like you said, Dan, this is where they literally yeah. would like amputate the people that had frostbite and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, that, that's the thing. It's like traumatic experiences like that are said to be embedded in the fabric like uh, stone, wood, right. residual energy gets imprinted into it and sometimes when you do hear these these screams or you see these apparitions that it's some kind of memory being replayed somehow triggered right that's one of the that's a stone tape theory right yeah or maybe it is just literally a spirit trapped in torment all right well we can we can at least set some things up uh, and figure this out Good. It was almost like orange. I know. That was incredible. K2s? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, now that one. The K2s here are amazing. The energy is detecting. I can't believe this. It's like they're just bouncing back and forth from one to the other. Yeah. Can you so. set the other one off, please? This one. The one I'm pointing to. Could you set that one off for me? Oh, there it goes. There it goes. The I just set it. And the, and the other one's going to red. Boys, this place is so active. Why is it going off? Dude, what's triggering it? If if this is really you, could you step away from the devices just for a second? Can you leave the table? Just get off the table really quick. No, they're they're just dude. What if they're what if they're residually playing cards? That was mine. And I heard it knock when it happened. That was my music box yep. facing in the kitchen. Yep. We oh yeah, we do have we have a rent. Alright. Music box. Let's show the kitchen. them. Yeah, yeah, let's show them how Josh's music box there, pointing back towards the captain's quarters. My music box is here, facing in the kitchen. And that just went off a tiny bit. Just like that. So if anyone is in the kitchen, feel free to come through into this room. All right, boys. All right, spirit box session. Let's try to talk to them, like, playing cards, talk about beer, talk okay. about whatever, Antarctica, whatever the fuck. Yeah, maybe act to. like we're on, we're on the expedition with them. Like, oh, my kind of God. play a little bit. Yeah, let's okay. try it. Is it true that you guys were stuck for two years? <laughs> Michael, is that you? <laughs> Please. 
Simon. Simon. Um, Joel. Joel. Billy. Billy. Three different names in one. Sound off. Unless we're getting three different crew members still here. Simon, Billy, Joel. Are you members of the crew? I was all buying it in there. I'm sorry, I just didn't hear what you said. I'm gonna ask one more time so I can hear you clearly. Are you members of the crew? Like so many people that actually died on this ship that's not even recorded. I know. Obviously. It was used in the World War One as well. Yeah, to move things. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me if they moved bodies as well or, like or injured yeah. soldiers, yeah. Oh, See, look at Back in the well. kitchen. Back in the kitchen. Should we check it out? After. If you're in the kitchen, please come into this room. more than welcome to come and join us, sit by the table and talk to us through this device. That went off. But you're going to have to walk in here first. We mean you no harm at all. It's getting good. I'm getting a little cold breeze more than before. Yeah. Just a little bit. Should I put this back Yeah. On? Maybe we, ask can, it. we can ask about like the amputees. Yes, exactly. Ask about that. Dude, they said, what's your name? Simon, Billy, and Joel. Joel. All popped up. Yeah. Right away. Yeah. Right. That was the wrong one. Yeah, you just pull it up. Yep. Are you still here with us? Sounded like he went boat. Billy, how did you die? What was that? Wild banging. Huh? Wild banging. Someone's coming kind of that way. Yeah. Billy, are you still here? If so, can you make a sound? Billy, if you're still here, can you sit? Can you sit over there by Steve? Uh, let's do really quick uh, EVP session, super fast. I ha we have to. Yeah, just quick burst. Yeah, just jumping right in this. Right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Billy, are you still here? Is the chef still here? Can you come over here and sit with us? We want to interview you. We're from the United States of America. Did your favorite dog die? Are any of the crew still here on the ship? Can you tell me any names of the crew members that are lingering here still? Can you tell us where you are right now? A lot of creeks and stuff during that. I hear walking behind us. Yeah. There's a lot of things going on. A lot of bangs, a lot of footsteps, and ugh. 
This yeah. place is nothing but just full of freaking energy. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know if it's because no one really ghost hunts here or what. I don't know. I mean, we're the only video on YouTube, I can tell you that. So I don't know what's going on. Right, I'm gonna play this back. This is too, this is getting really good. Ready? Mm -hmm. Yes. Are any of the crew still here on the ship? Can you tell me any names of the crew members that are lingering here still? Can you tell us where you are right now? Nothing real. I mean, this yeah, stuff, nothing. we can't make it out, though. So I don't know if there was fully. I'm not going to lie. When you, when you asked... Uh, if you can give any names, I thought I heard yes, Simon. Hang on, let's go back. Is that the question? Yeah, yes. Kinda says yes, Simon. No, it sounds like it. Let's we're the first one more time. It's slow. It's, it's, it's sounds like it. Might need yeah. Some hinting, but I feel like I hear it. Yeah. Yeah. You never know. We know there's a Billy, Joel, or or Simon, or all three here because the last spirit box session. Yeah. So. Um, I don't know. We can try to just get something to answer us so we can keep moving to the next I place. I want to find out what's going on with noises. Yeah. 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 More down to the kitchen then? We Maybe keep moving? We yeah. yeah. This is going to go downstairs yeah. now. Yeah. This has been the, one of the coolest sessions I've ever done. I agree. For sure. I've never really done Right here. Yeah. We can put a music box here. Yeah, I definitely did catch a vibe in this room. You're on the S the RSS Discovery. And you're here working for money. We can give you a lot more money and gold and coins. Do you want some more of that? Couple. Couple. Yep. Wow. Fuck, you scared me. Okay. You can't, you can't even, you know, to, obviously to make a cat ball go off, you gotta literally shake it, just so you know. That's our first cat ball. Let's go. go. Yep. We've had almost every device go off. Tonight. Legit. Apart from the REM pod. Yeah. Maybe we gotta put a, maybe we should, to really confirm it, let's put a. Oh, even the EMF will go off though. And the K2 going off yeah. at the same time. That's so EMF cool. is K2, by the way, for my viewers. Do you want us to help contribute and donate to you? Little creek when that happens. I'll tell you what, to help save the ship, I know it's not much, but if you can make one of these devices over here go off, I'll put some money in. I'll take money right on my wallet right now, put it straight in there, but you just need to make one of these go off. I'll do it too. Okay. Me three. Okay. Me four. Right, we'll each All put money in. We will help save the ship if you can show us that you're actually still here. I mean, you know the cat ball's ball's going off. The cat ball doesn't stop going off. And that cat ball didn't go off all night, just so everyone knows. But we need one of these to go off. To make a noise. So far, most of our equipment has gone off, except the REM pods. I don't think it's happening with the REM pods. K2's going off. K2's right blipping a bit. A little bit. But we need noise. Yeah. This one here, or the one by the door, or the one on the coal. You can make one of them go off, we'll all put money in. 
We can save this ship. Captain, if you can still hear me, please will you order your men to come up here. What was that? That, that was like a metal. bell. No, it's not no. Metal. That's my other music box downstairs. Downstairs? Oh, you mean upstairs? Really? Oh, downstairs. No, downstairs, yeah. My other music box still set up downstairs next to the captain's room. But it doesn't even sound like there's music playing. It was just like a blip of it. I don't know, I heard like a bell. From a distance that sounded like my music Captain! Box. Captain, are you here right now with us? Oh, what the hell? I just had water drop on me. Captain, please order your men up here to help save the ship. I think what if we take the rim pine and put it where on yeah. top of the money? Yeah, we could just put it. try. Do that. Dude, if that goes off, I'll lose my mind. Just a good idea now. Right next to that. Right. We want some noise, so we're gonna need to try to get the rim pod to be activated. Yep. You like that treasure chest full of money? Touch the red antenna over there. Like we said, that money in the chest is to help save your ship. You know, get it back to its former glory. If you set off that device, the one I'm pointing to. Oh. Okay. Listen, we're not playing. I got the money right here. Good old cash. You you set off a device, but the but the one I would like you to set off for us is this one right here. Can you do that for me? If you do, we'll all donate and help save the ship. I promise. So close. I got 80 pounds here. Just make that one in the middle go off. Hmm. You know what, to be nice? I'm still gonna give you 20 pounds. Oh, did you like that? Oh, got some Steve being all generous. Yeah, that was actually really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Good lot, Steve. You can be a good guy sometimes. That was good. That was really nice. You must like that cat ball, but we really, really would like to hear the REM pod go off to confirm. Big rock, not sure though. We're underwater right now, huh? Um, I think we're above it, but if we're down there, we will be underwater. Yeah, we'll get, I think, yeah. So they keep lighting off the, the cat ball though. Mm -hmm. At least that's what I think, I don't know. Oh man, I want that REM pod to go off. We had every device. Honestly, to run honestly, I think the only the only chance we've got of it going off is, is in the, the captain's. captain's room. We leave it in the captain on his, on his chair or on his bed. Dude, I think we focus on the captain's room now. And we see if he will let us stay in there with him. Oh, I, I, honestly, I already know he's going to. I think he will too. I already know that's where the heart of this is. It's all in the captain's room. Let's just Probably. put a bunch of red pods at in At least there. we had a lot go off in the crew room, though. Yeah, no, I'm glad of that. I mean, yeah. there's still a lot more of the ship, but I also don't get bad vibes, except for was this room. And those two rooms. The rest doesn't seem like you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm not no. sensing any negative energy yeah. in there. No, at but all. let's let's let's. What are we here for? We're not here to look for the negative energy. We're here to get activity and evidence. And it's that true. room, that captain's room, I'm telling you now, is where it's all at. Yeah, no, so I agree. That has we to should be go most active. Yeah. I'm down to go back there to be honest. We should we should yeah, go so now check it out. and focus everything. Plus, we've got those pictures to go and check. That's oh, true. Yeah, let's they check must, they're ready right now. Yeah, they'll be ready let's now. Check the pics. Maybe. Okay. We can talk to the captain and potentially figure out oh my God. what happened to the crew. Yeah. yeah. Let's go and do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, an agreement. Okay, yeah, let's, let's go. Do it.
Hold on, what, what's happening? Yo, I'm getting goosebumps right now. Your pants aren't hung up anymore. They're not on the hanger. You're those were those were hung up, right? Yeah, because I've got I've got yeah. a picture of them. So look, none of us did that. They we ended up. Oh, actually, we do have Holy to show crap. them the pictures now. Okay. Now the pictures will prove it. Dude. <laughs> Yo, goosebumps. <laughs> man. Yeah. Okay. I'm not a skeptic anymore. No. I 100% believe. No. Hang on. Let's see. Let's Bro. see. Let's see. Because I, that, I remember that, it. Like, Unless one of you guys are pranking. No, no. no honest to God. God. Hang on. My exposure so high. See? This the pants sense. right there. They're hung up on, above the bed. Yo. And that room is known for objects to move. What's That's that there? Oh, what the? That there, what is that? Looks like that looks like th it's on the chair, like someone's sitting there. The orb. Know, that that looks like an I'm orb. I'm going to have to... Hang on, I'm going to view it after. So, too much uh, Yo, lighting. One at a time. That's nuts. I think that's actual poltergeist activity. Yeah. So, what's the definition of poltergeist activity? So it's that when things move. It is, it is physical And activity. they did interview yeah. us and say it moved. Uh -huh. But none of us captured it on camera, though. So obviously the viewers are going to be like, oh, fuck off. Yo, imagine yeah, if we didn't catch... Yo, what if... What? Actually, I was going to say, if oh. Dan's camera caught that room... I'll, I'll tell you what. To dig in hard. I don't know, but that's going to... Hang on, I'm going to see. I'm, wow. I'm excited to see what's on that. Okay, so we are now going to set everything up in the captain's room. This has been some of the most amazing evidence I've ever seen. And it all stems from this section here. So we are going to take one of these uh, rooms individually. So there's going to be four of us inside four rooms. Put loads of devices inside the captain's room. Now, I already know things are going to go off. I just know it. Because I, I, saw, I saw the captain. I saw his shadow walk through that room. And then the music box starts going off on demand. So I'm going to put... Cameras in there, REM pods, music boxes. I'm gonna put everything I've got. What's that? Oh, sorry. True. Right, okay, let's start piling it in I there. Put okay. some things in there. That one. Um, music box. Let me, let me get my light. Oh. Right, we're just loading this room up with everything. At this point, something has to go off. Assuming the captain's gonna be in there. Okay, we just set the room up, guys. You're gonna obviously see on his camera view of how the room's set up. We've got REM pods there, REM pods on all the beds, music boxes, music box down there. Now we'll just kind of leave. Oh, he's like, he's like standing at his door. I don't know who that. I don't know. It could. I don't know. No, mine's no, going off. Is going there. off too? Wow. Mine's going off. That's how you know. All right, so we should probably get in our room. Mine yeah. is there. Alright, mine's so really pointing up that way. All set up. We have to just leave it. We yeah. have to just leave it and get into a room. Because if not, we're not going to. Yeah. Keep going. I'll fucking take his back. Okay. Alright, let's just get into a room. Should we each take a room? What's though? beeping? Yeah, what, was, what was that? What was that? That's mine. That's, oh, that's mine. <gasps> Yours is cool. What's beeping? My, my, my thingy. Oh. Look, yep, it's going for a bit. That's why it is. And my REM pod's going. I mean, my music box is going. Everything is just going off. Now we just gotta get the devices. What the hell? What the fuck was that? Is that your camera? What? Dude, it sounded like your camera started grinding. Yeah, like it almost like took a photo. So what it was? I don't know. Your REM pod's going off in here, bro. Who's? Super. REM pods. Yes. So REM pods. Activity right now, guys. So much. We can't even leave the room. You mean my REM pod? Yeah, yeah, I heard it. It was, it was like, dick, 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 dick. like. That picture. Oh. REM pods going on? Do the REM pod can't mine, be mine, seen? Mine's going up as well. What's going on? The REM pod? My, my musical oh, music box. I wish we were off. Fuck that one. I just got to three more pictures. Said, apparently, Steph said he heard the REM pod go off. Swear, swear, or so we're gonna see it. We're gonna have to leave. We're just gonna roam to another room. We're gonna ask a lot of questions. I'll take one. Alright, let's bounce. Yeah, okay, just, I'm just curious. Okay. Now. okay. I'm going in uh, Shackleton's room. I'm gonna go in this one here. Okay. I'm gonna oh my go. God. Both REM pods are going off. I mean, I'm gonna go in uh, this bedroom here. I'm gonna go next to you. We're all in the rooms, Captain. Can you 
sit in your bed? Is that you, Seth? Yeah, that's me, sorry. I can't believe this right now. This is nuts. This is unbelievable. Nothing's room is on record. It has all the equipment in there. Yo, what's that beeping? It's like a beep. Captain! That's your REM pod. Is it? I can hear it from here. Can you sit on your chair in your room? It's obviously in there. Yes. Captain, can you move something in the room? Steve, touch your pants. Not me. It's true, and I'm sorry. Wow. Dude, he's just in there, and it's just, everything's getting him. You know what I'm gonna do? Now that we know mine works, I'm gonna shut mine off so we can hear more inside. We already know he's there, but I'm just going to do it. There's so much activity. All right, so Captain, are you still in there? Yeah, someone's beeping. That's your REM pod, bro. Why is it that I turned mine off and now? Yeah, why is nothing... Off anymore once you turn your music box. Are you still inside there, Captain? We need to talk to you. Could we shut this light off? Yeah, just twist the bulb. I think it might help us. Captain, please go to your room. What's that? That's Josh. I don't think he's going to listen to you. What's that? Sounds like I'm knocking. Yeah. What is it? Should we say? Captain! Should we make Shackleton disappear? Let me know you're still in your room and I'll make Shackleton disappear and make him off the ship. No idea, it's coming from the captain's room though. Captain, are you moving things around in your room? What what is that? Literally he sounds like he's like organizing this room or something. He's like, yeah, moving things in it. Polter guy's shit, I don't know. Captain! Please! Give me a sign that you still lurk! Captain, your pants had fallen down. Did you do that? If you did, we've hung them back up for you. Please take them back down. Captain, if you don't put your pants back down on your bed, I'll give it to Shackleton. Maybe he doesn't like. Maybe he doesn't like the fact that we're all in these rooms. Because think about it, we're all st sat together when it was all kicking off. We're all outside together when it was kicking off again. Yeah. Maybe we should all approach it again. Let's see if we go near. Okay. Right, we're coming back towards your room, Captain. Can you set something off while we're all stood together? Is the there? Yeah. yeah nice. And I turned my light on super bright to see. Captain, we'll free you from the ship if you want. But you need to do something for us. 
Either lay on your bed, make one of those devices you see that are lit up, touch them. I don't get why it just everything stopped all of a sudden. Me neither. Come on, Captain. That's not Seth. What's that? That's not me. I'm right here. Where did it come from? I have no idea. I don't know. It's like a dash run. I went ah. through there. Unless it was a dog. Remember they say the dogs run around. It's true. Just saying. Come on, Captain. Did somebody just whistle? I heard a whistle. I don't know. Captain, I know that you're in the... I even saw you. Are you upset that everyone died from the Arctic expedition? Weird, it's gone quiet all of a sudden. Unless he used all of their energy. Potentially. They talked to us this whole time that you could have used all their energy in their Potentially, yeah. I mean, that was insane. Was I, mean, I mean, if we get the REM pod actually going off, like, it, like, like we heard it, I know I did hear something. That would be so good. Yeah, oh, you took that. photos, I remember. Yeah, they're still developing. Oh, we have, to, we have to check those. I really want to catch something moving on camera on the night vision. I mean, we've been trying, but now it's dead. Which is odd, but it's, it's dead. What if we all just... Just leave? leave? Yeah. I mean, we can pack up kind of thing, I don't know. Captain! There might be a mutiny on the ship. If you don't come back to your quarters... I hear people are conspiring against removing you as captain. The fuck? What the f- Response directly above us. What the fuck is that? How about we just go Bro, up there? Someone. Let's go up. Somebody's just walking. Let's go on deck. Captain, quickly get down here. Steve is going to overthrow you. It's going to be Captain Steve. That's right, Captain Steve Ronan. This is my ship now. Maybe we shouldn't entice him. Probably not. He's been pretty nice to us. <laughs> yeah, he has been pretty nice. This is your fault. Sorry, Captain. You did touch his pants. Yeah, yeah you did. You touched his you pants. I you hanged it back up. You come onto the man's ball. I hanged it back up for you him. come onto the man's ball. You tell him you're a skeptic. Then you take his pants down. And now, and now you want to take over his ship. Then you want to take his job. You're, you're effed up, bro. Yeah. You got to go back to council. You need to grow up. Yeah, you're you're a bad person, Steve. Yeah, grow up. Get the hell off my ship. Yeah, I don't, but the thing is, I, 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 I feel I, like they might have expelled all their energy. I really just want to keep recording that room. Yeah. Yeah. What if we kind of pack up and kind of just yeah, yeah, let's pack up. Yeah. We'll pack up the majority of our stuff, but yeah. leave this section Because that pants, like, when we found it on the bed, it's just too crazy for me. No, I get it. I no, really want to see if something No, me moves. too, me too. I mean, it would be the first time in our whole lives, I think, if we would get, like, something, like, physically shown... Like moving down. There was yeah. one time we caught something. It was at the Belair House in Ohio, I think it was, uh -huh. where the ball was rolling down the stairs and I, none of us touched it. I mean, it. no, but us three together when we were doing St. Joseph's and I got the video of Josh's oh. top oh. t shirt being yep. flicked right. up. Yeah, that was 100% legit. Yeah. There's no possible way that was yeah. wind. We just had a door freaking slam behind us. I know. I really wish we got on camera though. I know, but I mean, we just had a door freaking slam behind us. I know. I really wish we got on camera though. I know, but I mean, it's got the door freaking slammed behind us. I know. I mean, I mean. No, that was true. And dude, so, even Seth, when he was editing that video, he could not believe it. So there, it happens, dude. We went through a lot. We went through a lot on this ghost journey, for sure. Okay, Captain, we're gonna leave you to it. We're gonna start packing up our stuff. We'll leave some of the equipment there. If you want to make contact again, feel free to. But if not, this is the last chance, and we are packing up to leave. This K2 is going on. Is it, Captain? I just want to say, I was just joking. This is your ship, not mine. We're about to pack up. 
and leave. So if you want, you can go back to your room. Whose battery's that? I think that's Seth's battery. Yeah, I think that's mine. Yeah, that's mine. I know you need a little one. I really want to see if something moves because that's the room is one of those for that. Yeah, I really want to see if something moves because that's the room is one of those for that. Okay, it's packing up time. We are almost packed up. Uh, it's been one hell of a night tonight. What, what, what do you, what do you boys think? Josh, come on. I mean, yo, me and Seth has been to 28 or 29 now abandoned places that are banging on the dark, and yeah. this is probably my top three, in my opinion, for the best of it. We done the K2 meter. I started stop. I stopped using it because it never works. Yeah. Can we come here? Amazing responses. Music box. Music box, nonstop. You know that. You asked yeah. to leave the room or to go in and it would go off and talk to you back. I gotta Best say, place. I gotta say it's like top three, top five, just because it was such intelligent communication. Like that's the that's the kind of stuff that like really gets me. You know, like you can have that one odd music box going off, but like when you're telling it or asking it to move or to do something or give you permission to go in a certain room and it goes off, it just sets another it just puts it on another level. No, I agree. I agree because I, it was when I saw the shadow. I just, yeah, you, at first I was yeah. like, at first I was like, did I just is that, is that my imagination inside that room? Like just went past the doorway. Yeah. And then the music box starts going off again, and I start asking questions, and it's just answering. It's just, and then Steve here was like, no, I'm still a skeptic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but here's the thing. Yeah. I'm a believer now. I really think this place is haunted. I was a skeptic in the beginning, towards the middle, but even though we didn't have evidence showing the pants moving. It still is unexplainable to me how that happened because we did not even do any of that. I mean, that's true. That's true. But I'll tell you what the thing I'm most excited about. What? Is going through the CCTV camera footage. Yeah. Oh. That's true. Because as we came in, that, that EMF meter was going off and I've never seen that go off yet. EMF yeah. has been the best. So we'll see.